What's up guys, I've got something really cool I wanted to show you guys, a Wi-Fi jammer that costs as much as a cup of coffee. So here it is, and this is called the Node MCU. It basically essentially has a Wi-Fi chip that it can transmit Wi-Fi from. It's mostly used for hobby projects, but this one in particular can be used for Wi-Fi jamming. That means with your iPhone, with your Android phone, with your computer, you can actually use this thing to prevent people from accessing the internet and so on. Now, before you get too excited about that, it is illegal. So this isn't something you want to do in public. If you want to buy this for some hobby work at home, sure. But if you guys take this out in public and start firing it off, I just want to warn you, it is highly illegal. So don't be doing that. Anyways, I just wanted to show you how this works. It's actually super neat. And I was amazed to see how it works so well. Now to get this to run, you can do it several ways. You can do it from an iPhone, you can do it from an Android, or you can do it from a battery pack. So a lot of people won't be doing this on an iPhone because you have to buy a separate adapter and it really accomplishes the same thing but you just plug it into your iPhone and this adapter tricks it into powering this guy so as you can see it is being powered with the blue LED on anyways this will create its own Wi-Fi network so you'll go ahead and jump into that in the Wi-Fi settings and it'll be called pwned by default so once you connect to that uh, you're gonna want to go to this side right here 192.168 4.1 and for whatever reason on iPhone it times out a lot using this adapter so I'm just going to go ahead and efficiently plug it into a power bank so you can just put it in here and leave it alone and it'll continue broadcasting of course you can just connect it to the wall or the computer or anything so I'm just going to leave that broadcasting there and on my other iPhone I'm going to connect to it once again so once you are connected to the network that this creates you're going to go to this IP and this is the interface you're going to get so once you scan over here it'll tell you which networks are in your area for example I went ahead and started up a personal hotspot and over here connected to it on this device so just as a proof of concept I'm going to show you guys uh, that websites do work on it perfectly I'm going to go to Jalopnik here and it loads so connected to the iPhone so I'm going to choose this guy this guy's network phone rebels iPhone I'm going to select it and then we're going to go to attack. So in here, I'm going to start deauthorizing. So it will prevent this guy from connecting to the network, really anybody on the network. Now, uh, let's try loading up. It just worked a second ago, so it should continue to work, right? Nope, wrong. It will never connect. If I actually jump into the settings over here, you can see that it starts freaking out. And I'm going to forget this network here. So if I try to connect to the Phone Rebels iPhone, it connects, disconnects, connects, disconnects. It will keep doing this in a loop forever. So this thing totally messes with it. And it has nothing to do with the firmware the phone is on. This thing is on iOS 10.3.1, the latest. It's all about the Wi-Fi network. Now, it's a hold that has been patched by 802.11W standard, but so few routers actually use it. So this will work on like 90 to 95% of connections in public, Starbucks, really anywhere. And it's kind of scary how prevalent it is. So you won't be able to connect. Should I decide I want to end the torture, I'll click stop and it will connect to the network successfully and begin loading as it should. So cool. Now you can take this even further by doing this. So let's say I want to, you know, mess with the person. So I'm going to start a beacon list to confuse them. So down here, I'm just going to go ahead and click random. I'm going to create 64 fake Wi-Fi networks and on the list click start so if i do run the disconnect to deauthorize um, command and they go to check on their wi-fi to see what's going on this is what they're going to see they're literally going to see like a cluster of fake wi-fi addresses here and the longer your phone scans the more it'll find so it can be really really frustrating what you can do with this thing you can really really mess with someone you can even change the names to whatever you want individually so if you want to target that person specifically and tell them mean messages through here, you definitely can. Let me do that. So I'm going to add a name, say, Peter, you idiot. Okay. And now that that's on the list, it should be transmitted through the chip to any other iPhone on here. See right there, Peter, you idiot. <laughs> and when you try to connect to them, they will really do nothing. So you can have some jolly good fun with this. Uh, also, if you want to be a little bit more specific, you can actually choose your client. So you'll be able to see who is on that network connected to it. And by doing this, you can target out individual people, 
just by having nobody selected, it'll target everyone by default. So essentially you walk into your class uh, at college or something, and you can block everybody out of Wi-Fi using this little chip. That's kind of scary. So um, yeah, that's just about it, what you guys can do with it. And if you really want to be mean, you can do it to anyone. The thing is, it doesn't matter if you have the passcode to the network or not. It will just mimic the signal and transmit it to everyone, basically blocking their connection. So just wanted you guys to be aware of this. Uh, if you guys want to buy one of these as a hobby, you can find them all over the place. I'm not going to link them because, you know, they could be used for illegal purposes. But just wanted to show you guys how cool this is. I mean, even though you're not going to be able to use it in public, it's still pretty neat to mess around with. So $5, you can really mess up someone's day. The reason these things are even illegal is because this can uh, block the signal going to emergency services or something like that. And really the FCC doesn't want that to happen. So it's more of a safety thing uh, than anything else. So guys, hope you enjoyed this little look at a Wi-Fi jammer for your device. Super cool, super evil, and super illegal. Peace.